Alright guys. Um Okay, focus. It's not focusing. Ugh. It's what the crap? Ugh, please, please don't do this. Okay, guys. So. Okay, so I definitely look like somebody's deranged ex-wife. <sighs> and I'm trying to see. So I'm having some problems with my camera. I had this camera for three days. It was smooth sailing. And Blythe just kicked it off the table. And I'm freaking out because it is a lens. And the Canon lenses are hella expensive. So I'm seeing if the focusing is okay. Like in dim lighting, dark lighting, it wants to add funky. Ugh. I don't know. I'm just gonna pray on it. Cause like I don't I don't think it's a issue now. I'm walking around. <laughs> this is not a great Mother's Day. I know it's materialistic. And it can't replace a life. It's just, why? Why did it have to happen three days after I get the freaking camera? Oh, hopefully you guys, y'all can see me. Let's just go with, with what is, okay. First of all, hold on, cause y'all are being held by my tripod. Like, it has not been a great day. My family. Let's start off with yesterday. Yesterday was Mother's Day. I started to feel sick all of Mother's Day. And I actually projectile vomited a few times. Um, sorry, TMI. But that's what happened. Um, did not have a good Mother's Day. You know, I ate... I ate food, but again, like I didn't keep anything down. The only thing I was able to keep down was four croutons. Four. So, I was in a, like, crappy mood because when I hadn't eaten, um, Andreas and I got into a disagreement. And it was kind of annoying because I feel like if anybody wants to, like, disagree with you on Mother's Day or, like, your birthday, Mother's Day, Father's Day, um, a significant date in your life, anniversary or anything, that person really doesn't care about you. And that's just my, that's my view of it. Um, I don't mean to throw him under the bus or, like, say, oh, he's a terrible person. But, like, if you literally want to argue with the mother of your children or the father of your children on... So yeah, got into a disagreement yesterday, and I just feel like if you want to disagree with somebody on Mother's Day, like, you really don't give a rat's behind about that person. Um, so on and so forth, whatever, whatever, is what it is. Anyway, um, today is Monday the 13th. I, I don't really have anything planned. I have an appointment tomorrow to discuss, um, some educational benefits. Um, some career advancing benefits, I guess, because if you guys didn't know, I do have a degree in veterinary medicine, but I just, bless you, I just don't know if that is where, I'll be real, like, with being in the veterinary field, depending on where you've worked or who you've worked for, there's no real retirement for you. Um, it just depends on, like, the office, the actual practice, um, because some of these practice managers or some of these practice owners for that, for, you know, they're not, they don't really have, like, 401k or, um, any kind of retirement plan or anything. They, they don't have that, um, and that's just being real. Um, so there's really no real retirement with veterinary medicine. That being said, I want to look into 
getting into a different career or something that I can do while at home with the kids and you know I can advance myself somewhere so that is what my purpose is tomorrow I have um, that appointment at one o'clock I think other than that I need to get this house cleaned up because literally my family I'm so sick of being taken advantage of like I feel like because I'm a neat I'm not a neat freak excuse me I'm not a neat freak but I do like a clean house I do like to you know not see crumbs everywhere or not see dishes in the sink when I wake up or not see um, just little things that should be done overnight you know um, I wake up to that majority of the time and with me being pregnant and sometimes like today with hyperemesis being back I don't have the energy to fight argue and for lack of a better word, I don't have time to clean because I'm just so sick and I need to try to find food to, that I can keep freaking down. That being said, I'm going to show you guys what my house looks like and I'm annoyed. So, let's go. So, I just dropped my tripod because that's what you guys were held up by. But... <clears throat> There are little, these little pieces from the, like, outside. Those are, like, flowers that come in from your shoes. That could have easily been vacuumed up last night. Uh, I have my kitchen table from last night's dinner. Um, you need to get dressed first, so wait a second, please, okay? Water bottle on the table. Fingerprints. I, the density project, it's still there. I kind of want to keep it for a little bit before I throw it out. But yeah, this coffee thing, I was making coffee scrubs for um, my shop, which I am no longer going to be doing for right now. I'll open my shop up when I can and when I have time. The recycling is overflowing. That could be easily taken out. Like, some more flower pieces. I used that this morning and the Nutella. So, like, that's my mess right there. That right there is my mess. But sink full of dishes. Uh, coming back in here, the black carpet, which we use for homeschool, crumbs, everywhere. I just made the girls clean up because it was their toys all over the floor in here. I slept here because I projectile vomited everywhere last night, so that was my bed for last night. So those are my belongings. There's dirty clothes from the kids' bath last night in here. Like, I made the girls clean up their playroom because it was a hot mess. You guys know that the drawers is already jacked up because Andreas put it together. Um, and he put it together wrong, but whatever. Priya, you need to come in this room and open these blinds up. Um, yeah, Andreas' shoes. 30 clothes that needs to go. Um, in the laundry. It's just... Andreas, my shoes? It's Daddy. Daddy? It's not Andreas. Daddy, my shoes? Yeah, his shoes. Shoes. Yeah, shoes. Daddy. yeah. So anyway, as I was saying, it, my house is it's a wreck, and I don't like and I don't like a messy house. Like I just I just can't. Um, let me get ready to change Blythe and get her ready for the day, and then I'm gonna vacuum the floors up because no one else obviously knows how to handle a vacuum cleaner. Um, you're getting dressed, so give me a second, please. Um, obviously nobody knows how to handle a vacuum cleaner, so I'm gonna go ahead and get them dressed or get get Blythe dressed and vacuum the floors. But